Special thanks to Twitch for resetting, or whatever the fuck it is that happens around this time every goddamn night. Fuckery. Fuckery. Right as it's about to start. Kaboom. And it's always Twitch. I get kicked out of chat, the stream goes down. I reconnect, the stream comes back up. Horseshit. Hopefully the stream's back. But I've noticed that there's like a minute of whateverness. I don't see anybody responding to me yet. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to Stream A Day number 483. Tonight we're going to be doing some Unforgotten Realms live brainstorming. I talked about this the other day. Uh, basically, Rob talked to us and wanted us to go out and do a little bit of brainstorming on our own, come up with some ideas to kind of make things happen, you know, come up with stuff that's, uh, that we think would be cool for a campaign or for an environment, a background, or ideas for abilities or enemies, bosses, characters, anything of that sort. Just anything that might be good. And the nice thing about doing it on a stream like this is that uh, you guys can contribute your own ideas and let me know what you think of stuff that's that we're coming up with and whatever else. We're probably going to be doing another uh, Unforgotten Realms live stream sometime this month. Towards the end of the month. Oh yeah, shout out to Vrizvri, or sorry, I don't know, if, I don't know how to say that. It's a jumble of letters. Uh, five months in a row. Thank you very much. Most awesome. I have been a little screwed up lately, which is why I've been kind of do down. a barrel roll. Past couple streams haven't been too stellar. Do wig it. Three months in a row, thank you very much. Do a barrel roll! El Fang, seven months in a row. Thank you as well. But yeah, um, we're gonna be doing another one. I don't know how many we're gonna do, but the plan is still to probably do like a number of them in the summer so we're kind of still hashing out ideas with these first few attempts but um yeah like i was saying i've been kind of screwed up and i think it's because i don't really know what i want to do and I've wavered on this before, and I kind of talked about it a little bit today. Because, uh... I was thinking about it, because I had listened to some video stuff of uh, Aaron and Ross talking. I'm really slow tonight. Like, I'm trying to... Th I spent a lot of time thinking about what I'm going to say. It's taking me forever. But, uh, yeah, I was listening to Ross and Aaron talk, and that got me thinking about art stuff and whatever else 
and problems I've had with trying to figure out like what I want to do and what I want to spend my time on and what the heck I'm putting my effort into. So I go through this cycle of trying to figure that out and feeling kind of fucked up and feeling down about it and then bouncing back and just kind of trying to figure that shit out. But yeah, I thought it might be fun for us to do this together and kind of fuck around and come up with ideas and stuff. So feel free to kind of participate of sorts, throw your ideas in. We'll just kind of chit chat and come up with shit as we go. Yeah. Not the greatest timing on this crisis as well because obviously I'm going to be trying to launch that Patreon. I set that sort of deadline for myself and I kind of thought I had a trajectory that made sense and now I'm approaching it and I'm like, how can I fucking put a Patreon together when I don't even know what it is that I'm doing? You know, like you can't come out there and be like, well, I am somebody who used to do stuff, but now I don't know what I want to do. <laughs> so support my Patreon. So I'm trying to think of that kind of stuff and, and get myself sorted before then, but time's running out on that, so I don't know. We'll see what happens. Hopefully you guys are doing well tonight. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do all this brainstorming stuff in Photoshop because it seems like it'll work well for like, you know, kind of just sketching stuff out, taking notes, you know, doing whatever. Um, kind of like we were all somewhere and just had some paper and we're just sketching shit out. That's the game plan here. Got my tablet back out. I actually haven't really used it much ever since that other time I had a drawing stream. And, uh, I need to. I need to do that. So I really haven't improved much since then. In fact, I've probably regressed somewhat. <laughs> So why don't we uh, switch over to that. I'm going to turn the music up just a little bit. Hopefully, yeah, that should be... I think that'll be okay volume. Let's switch over to Photoshop. Oh. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I'll just uh, get rid of that. <laughs> Making sure the tablet was hooked up correctly. Test successful. There we go. <laughs> I kind of forgot that I did that. Whoopsie. Alright. U Realms live brainstorm the sickness was a little too thick for writing I think <laughs> uh. so there's a lot of things to U Realms Live there's a lot of different aspects to it like uh there's the characters and the character appearance and there's a lot of things to that like um, we don't have to be our own characters for example like when we did it last time we were uh, ourselves pretty much I was me, Deadbones was Deadbones, we had our own our own Buffalo Wizards characters of sorts but um, we don't have to be those either. We could come up with characters that we could be that would be interesting or funny. 
So that's a good avenue to go down. If there's anything interesting to do there. <laughs> Hi, new here. I'm dead. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, I am using a tablet. It's a uh, a Wacom bamboo. My character doesn't really have anything in particular special about him. Like, that's a problem that I have for my character is that there's really no unique stuff. I kind of adopted the Dragon Warrior helmet, I guess, which is that one that kind of looks like, uh, it actually kind of ends up making me look like Roman, since he's a paladin. Where it's kind of got this biz going on. Actually, the the top part has been different in everybody's drawings, but I think the actual... Well, that looks like dog shit, but... <laughs> I think the actual Dragon Warrior helmet has like a mane of some kind on it. Of course, this looks like a piece of lettuce. Lettuce helm. Get your salad forks and enjoy. Put some tomatoes on there. You know, I think people like. I don't eat salad. I don't know what the fuck's on a salad. Maybe a crouton. Just a crouton. Yeah, and if you recall my uh, my character name for U Realms Live, we didn't use it much, but my character name was. Thanks. <laughs> I think I chose a name that nobody could remember or use, even if they could remember it. Salad Knight, yes, yeah, so there you go. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I want to go with uh, a salad helmet. That's it. And the other aspect that I have is the uh, star shirt. My handwriting is ridiculous. Everybody says they like it, which surprises me, but it's fucking absurd. It's all like swooshes, it swoops. It's like lazy. It's the way I write is I want to not be writing as soon as possible. <laughs> this is what my signature looks like. <laughs> Just like, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I want to be out of here in less than a second. I don't want to spend any time <laughs> fucking writing anything. I hate writing. I basically virtually stopped writing altogether as soon as I had access to a computer regularly. And uh, <laughs> then my hand decided, God, writing really makes me tired. I don't want to do this anymore. So now my, that's why I write the way I do. It's just like, let's fucking slash this shit out like a goddamn serial killer. We're murdering the paper and get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Move the fuck on. Right, no, my signatures are shit. Not a one of them ever looks the same. Like you ever think about when you do your signature? <laughs> Like, who's checking this shit? Who's checking to see this fucking counterfeit signature that I've just written? Because if anybody goes back and looks at all my signatures, they're going to think that there was 50,000 different people involved in writing my name. Let's see. You could all be cats, and you are all trying to get to the top of the gigantic Mount Voodoo to see the catastrophic Maester Overlord about retrieving the Velociraptor that they all were raised by and he was captured by the football which was used in the 1998 Super Bowl and is now retired and it just got pushed off the top of my chat. But he feels left out and so he captured the cat's dad Velociraptor to get attention and he ended up popping because the cats tricked him into eating a metric ton of mammoth steak. <laughs> Jesus Christ. 
It's like you took a whole bunch of shit, put it in a hat, and were just like, let's make this into a story. <laughs> but I'm what I took away from that is there's a volcano. And on top of the volcano there's a velociraptor. Like so. This is a stick velociraptor. Very rare. They were not, uh, they were not common. I could really change my brush size, or I could just draw like shit. Right? The velociraptor's at the top of the volcano, yeah? And then, we're cats? Did you say we're cats? So, meow meow. Oh, that's a shitty fucking cat I just drew. What am I doing? Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Let me change my brush size. Okay, so... Cool, let's draw exactly the same piece of shit thing. So, we're gonna climb to the top. I want to give him eyes, but it's so tiny. And we have to collect our Velociraptor... Wait, it was like our Velociraptor... Cat Dad, right? So he's got cat ears. Is that... And there's somehow a football involved. I didn't really understand that part at all. What is this? That's not a fucking football. I don't know. I don't play football. Good pass. Toss it down to the cats. I'm not I'm not so sure about this idea, but thanks for sharing. <laughs> Whoops, how did that fucking line get there? How did this get off of the fucking toolbar? What's happening? What's happening? I'm still not very practiced with the tablet. You'll have to forgive whatever dumb little shitty mistakes I'm making. Yeah, it's, it's a little tough to get used to it. Okay, so this is <laughs> this is your first contribution here. Good stuff. Good effort. I think that shows that we can at least try various ideas, even if they're pretty off the wall. What else we got? Velocicano? Wow, that's that's good stuff. Velocicano. The only thing is, is I'm not sure how that would um, really translate into a campaign. It's a nice thought. Let's, let's see if we can pick up some other ideas here. And remember, it doesn't have to be, like, a campaign. I mean, we could think of anything. You, know, you want to just come up with, like, a fucking cool boss monster thing? Like, we can totally sketch something up. I'm down for whatever. Although, keep in mind that, you know, U-Realms has a tendency to be... It's semi-serious. It's serious enough in that, like, you can play the campaign and you can fight and die and stuff like that, but it's also, the whole thing is also a big joke. <laughs> Basically, make everything Cooper. <laughs> Cooper. Cooper is outside of my realm of control. I don't think I can really do anything to make Cooper any better than he is. Co-boss, what's this? <laughs> nice, nice toad. That's terrifying. <laughs> well done. Oh my god. Which button did I press that just cleared all the screens? God. I, I still have a lot of getting used to this tablet to do. My uh, desktop resolution is 2560 by 1440, 
but I'm smashing that down in OBS to uh, 720p. So. Mr. Star, a dark version of thanks. A Velociraptor helmet? <laughs> What's a Velociraptor helmet? to the picture she was showing me. It's a very art, uh, artsy evening tonight. Mm. I haven't done much yet, but uh, we did have one story of uh, uh, yeah, sort of there's a velociraptor on a volcano. The idea is that we were cats collecting the, our velocidad. I, I actually, I, I don't know. I don't even really remember how the football got involved in this. I think I have to draw a Velosa helmet now, though. A velociraptor helmet, which I have no idea. <laughs> I'm imagining like a velociraptor head. And then the faces in the mouth. Right. So that can go like that, and then <laughs> It's a very anime thing where you don't see their eyes. You just see their smirking smile and their stubbly chin. Rawr. Scary Velociraptor helmet. There you go. Goes great with my Velosa armor. I'm not gonna draw Velosa armor. There you go. <laughs> the teeth are like sunk in the head. Right here, this is his neck. Here's his Adam's apple. Cut me some slack. Yes, the helm is on his head. It's a helm. Well, no, I was thinking more of like. Like, you know, like a helmet. Yeah, they can see through the nostrils right there. Boom. Boom, bam. I was thinking more like cheeky style. Like the whole thing, like the mouth. I don't know. I haven't, I haven't drawn cheapy stuff in a long time. All you have to do is draw in my eyes. Just like... And then... I don't even know. Yeah, I, don't think I don't know how to approach like the rest it from needs here. To be like from that angle. Basically, it would just look like Pyro. Yeah, actually. Yeah. <laughs> there. How's, how's that? You need the bottom jacket. What? Damn it. Is that like the collar? So chibi. There. <laughs> there. Is that good? It's better. It's better. It was a beautiful day and everyone was excited. There was a there, thumbs up. Good job. Good job, everyone. Like Very low hand. detail hand. No, he's not deformed. No, it looks like one little like a T Rex arm, but like. Well, I guess that would be appropriate off. in this case. I don't want to put that much effort into it. <laughs> well, he needs to get off my chair.
Okay, I think we've gone about as far as we can go with that. Well, we can we can work out an idea. And like I said, again, it doesn't necessarily have to be an adventure. If you come up with a good idea, or if we come up with some ideas that we think are good, we can like make a little list of them and then just try different stuff until we come up with a few things that are cool. Okay. Uh, let me see if I can find your idea, Kaylin. You are a mental patient that is stuck in a mental institution. Every now and then, you hallucinate that you are actually a badass thief, dual-wielding daggers. When you're in this fantasy, everything seems so vivid and real, but you are always pulled back into the mental hospital. You have to figure out which is the real world and which is the hallucination. Well, that's an interesting idea, but I would go in the direction of that there's a character that is, you know, um, I guess it would be schizophrenic or has hallucinations at least. And I wouldn't tie the whole campaign down to that because, I mean, we're going to have like four or five people involved, that kind of thing. So you'd, ha you'd have to have sort of a dungeon to that applies to everybody. But you could definitely have a character that has that kind of issue. Cat, get out of here. Cat, get out of here. I'll leave so the army of animals departs with me. Okay. Thank you. Boss idea. A giant panda bear that takes a turn to charge up its jump, being vulnerable. Then jumps across the room and smash down on anyone dealing massive damage unless they get a good dodge roll. It's an interesting idea, but it's just a panda though. Any other aspects to that? Question, could this U Realms thing be swung in a call of... Is it Cthulhu? Or... I never remember. Because that would be so cool, I can explain if you're not familiar. I'm actually not that familiar with that. I've heard of it, but I don't really know anything about it. Treasure Goblin. That's a common uh, fantasy trope. It's not a, a bad one, though. What do they, they usually look like, uh, they're little guys, they usually have, um, a bag slung on their back and they're kind of little, hunched over, goblin-y things. Kind of botching my my lines here. Maybe with like a little hood on. They're usually small and skinny and fast. Probably with uh, big feet, something like that. Let's see, there's a lot of stuff going by. Giant cat that has razor claws and hairballs up the bones of its enemies. Drinks blood to sustain itself. 
and can only be killed by being 